Hey guys, what's going on? So when I did my review for the Sony HDR PJ330E camcorder a while ago, I'll put the link to that down in the description, I didn't have a chance to talk about the Wi-Fi functions. Now I had to play around with it and I thought I'll do this video kind of as an add-on to my review and talk just about the Wi-Fi function of this camera. So instead of linking it up to your router at home using Wi-Fi and then maybe transferring files from the camera to your computer, you can actually use your smartphone as a remote control control for the camera and you do not need to be connected to your Wi-Fi router when you want to do that. So you just find the control with smartphone function in the menu like I just did, select that, then you open the Play Memories mobile app on your phone. This is available for iOS and Android. It automatically links up the camera with your smartphone and as you can see here, you then can live watch through the lens of your camera and remote control it. You see the camera sits there next to the older gentleman on the bench filming towards the fountain. I'm about seven, eight meters away, I would guess. Now, in terms of the functionalities, there's not that much you can do. You can press record and I'm gonna switch here in a second to the actual footage of the camera. So you can see this has been recorded basically remote controlled. So the basic functionality is there. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, but not much more than that. You can add some grid lines to your screen using the phone. I don't know what that is really good for. You can mirror the image using your smartphone if you want to. I would have hoped that there are a few more functions, maybe that you could add a filter or something like that. But generally the function works pretty well. I've tried it at home and it even works through like two different walls in my home. At that point, it doesn't really run smooth, so don't expect to get a really smooth, perfectly streamed image on your smartphone all the time, but the basic functionality works and it is actually a quite useful feature. So guys, if you have any questions regarding this feature or regarding my main review, again, link is down in the description, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer all questions if I can. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you. Leave me a like if it did, you can subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, stay tuned guys and I'll see you next time. I'm out, bye.